Hello everyone and welcome to the Crafty Cauldron. I am Joe Beth Sexton and today I have an unboxing to show you. BBCraft.com BBCraft.com uh, approached me and asked me if I would like to do another collaboration with them and of course I said yes because um, I have some stuff in mind that that I would like to do and take you along and and show you how I do it and this is just one person's vantage point just how I do things but anyway um, here's what they sent me I haven't opened it yet because it's a true unboxing I know what I got of course but um, I'm going to go ahead and cut, cut this open right now and save the bubble wrap as much as I can because that's what I do anyway uh, sorry about all the noise so, how's everyone been doing? Um, I hope you're all well. Making wonderful things, creating beautiful things. Wow, these guys really wrap their stuff really well. Okay, so here is what I got. Nope. Let's put that over there. And get rid of this humongous piece of bubble wrap. There we go. All right. So, what I got was, let's just cut this plastic stuff off of here. Yep, I had a feeling that was going to happen. All right. There we go. So, the first thing is this box of... Um, it's uh, glass covers or bezels. Um, they're not, it's, yeah, glass and oval backs. And these I got um, to create specific things for junk journals, but you can also create like um, jewelry with them. These glass tops fit on these like that. So they're really, um, they're really cool for if you have something flat and you want to uh, make a pendant. So that's what's in there. And then this is the same thing. It's just a different color because I really like working with antique brass and that's what color these are. Antique brass. Open those up. I love how they put everything in a box of its own, so you don't have to you don't have to you know find something. <clears throat> excuse me, to put them in. It's already there. So this has the brass ones, and it's the same thing, same size, and they just fit in there like that to make a little a pendant or dangle if you would like to put a dangle on your um, junk journal spine or the side of a page such as that. These are got this little idea and I thought I'd use these because you don't have to use hmm, sorry about the noise you don't have to use a, um, a back or a top like this. You can use, yeah, let me find it. You can use diamond glaze or you can use um, glossy accents as well. Diamond glaze is just like glossy accents. It's just not made by the same, same company. So that you can use with these. These are glass. Oh, some of them are broken. Well, that's not good. Huh. Okay, well, these are little evil eye pendants. I mean, beads. And they don't have to be used as beads. <clears throat> you can actually just put them inside a backing like this with other things and put um, triple thick on them. Let me see here. Get my triple thick and show you what I mean. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. It's triple thick brush on gloss glaze. 
and this is something that you can use without the cabochon on top of the glass cabochon this is a cabochon a cabochon is generally flat on one side and domed on the other so it fits something like that but you can put this on a backing like this as long as you don't break the surface tension it will dome up a little bit and you can put more than one application of this on and it will it will still show through clear unless you've got a piece of paper that you're covering that bleeds so that'll kind of color your glue a little bit but you can use it like that now that's one of the things that I got for my little idea the little evil eye pendants and the other one is this let me just move the scissors and this again it's in a box but it's also in a um, little plastic container keeper these are this is awesome look at that oh my they're beautiful little red rose they're roses they're all roses and they're beads they're made out of resin and that is one of the other things that I got to create little things inside of my bezels so this is what I'm going to be using to make things. Um, let me just hold that up to the camera so you guys can see the, the detail. So yeah, you've got the bead with the hole and then this has a hole as well. It goes through. There's the hole. It goes through too. So you can use those. In more than one way. I mean, you don't have to use them as beads, but you can use them as, as other things. So, <clears throat> just like elements. So those all come in this little container. There are, let's see. Um, it just says one box. But there's, there's several of each color. Looks like maybe 12 of each color. So that's pretty cool. So that's what I'm going to be using in my future, in a couple of future videos at least, because this stuff is really cool. And I got them all from bbcraft.com. So it, go to this website and you can get, you sign up for the newsletter and they will give you percentages off in every newsletter. Some it's 5%, some it's 20%. It, it's really cool. They're really great people. So um, with that, I'm going to say bye. Peace. Love. And remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Make it a happy, crafty, and colorful one. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.